I just got off a Zoom call for an interview. And it's remote. I'm so surprised it's remote. I would love to get that job. To not have to worry about getting dressed, what I look like, rolling out the bed and just answering the phone all day. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's going to be a while, probably two weeks before I even know either way. It's at, it's an entertainment. It's a uh, receptionist type job. And it'll be a lot of, a lot of phone calls, but they'll be quick phone calls, you know. And I can deal with that as long as they fast and quick. I'm getting ready to go out here and do some ride sharing. I didn't sleep well last night. I don't know what dude is doing upstairs, but he getting on my damn nerves. All I hear is all these creaks and walking back and forth and this shit sound like it's in my house almost sometimes. Yeah, I need a job because I, I hate going out here now. Driving all day. So I am out here at the beach, Playa del Rey. Normally I'm over here. If you go up this street that I came down. There's some parking, and there's another park and lake or whatever, and you can just walk right onto the sand, you know. And I usually find a spot over there and just walk right on the sand and straight into the beach and put my feet in the water and stuff like that, you know. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. I had a break in the ride sharing, and so I stopped over here. I'm going to walk over here. Oh my God, I wish my grandmother could see this. She would have loved L.A. She would have found a way to get her fishing license and we would have been out here fishing. She probably would have bought her a boat and we would have been Living the life. Because that was her favorite thing to do. And she used to drag me along with her. I made it to shore. I mean, shore to the bridge. To the bridge. To the wall. Y'all know that song. So again, let me see if it, if this metal will stick. Oh, this not good metal. I thought I could stick my camera on here. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We have to start enjoying our life, y'all. Live our life to the fullest.
This is pure heaven. Absolute heaven. It's a lot of smog out here. You usually can see Palace Verde's way over there a little clearer. But it's smog. And over here is Malibu. Malibu. Santa Monica and Malibu. Yeah, this was a good stop. Glad I did this today. Now, this is what I walked through. All them rocks. See, if I go over there, I'm going to get too much sand in my shoes. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. There ain't nothing but to do it. One thing about ride sharing, you always have to worry about going to the restroom. And for me, I absolute hate public bathrooms. Hate it, hate it, hate it. So when I do have to go, I try to find a mall or a Target. Target is really good about keeping their bathrooms clean. If there's no Target around, I look for a Denny's or something and uh, try to go there. It's beautiful. So, yeah. My little break is over. Little break is over. All right, y'all. I'm done. A little filming for today. I'm going to go back to work. And find a restroom. That's what I need. A porta potty. See y'all later. So yesterday I was eating lunch, right? And I pulled into this parking lot near the park over there off of uh, Lincoln and Loyola Boulevard. I think it was, no, it might not be Loyola, but it's right before Manchester. And I started to go over there on the side where there were a lot of cars because People over there were playing uh, baseball and there was one truck on this other side and then the rest was empty. So I went a little further down and parked in the spot and I was trying to eat my spaghetti, making a big ass mess, making a big mess, eating that spaghetti in the car. I don't know what I was thinking. So the guy is a black man. Now, I, I'd seen him standing over there, and I don't think he noticed me because when I came in, his back was turned, and he seemed to be talking on the phone. But after a while, I see him walking toward me, toward the car, and I'm looking, and he's looking at me. And so he walks around behind my car and stops for me, too close for comfort. So I put all my stuff up in the bag real fast and started the car and let the windows up and I was heading out. Now he was over here and I'm at the light waiting to turn right and I'm turning my cameras on so I can, you know, try and get footage of him. So by the time the light turned green, dude is right here. What kind of goddamn spidey senses does he have 
He must have ran. I don't know how he got over there that fast. And so when I look up, and he's at the, I look up him, toward him. He's holding his phone up, cell phone up, like he's filming me. I said, you know, I had all the windows up. But I'm like, you can get your ass whooped if you want to. This ain't going in the way you think. And he's smiling and stuff. I didn't get his face real good, but I got some footage of him. I'm going to show y'all. See, that's him. That's him right there under that tree. Baby, y'all better be careful. You better be paying attention. It's a good thing I'm from the hood. I'll be watching people all the way, make sure, you know, where they going, where they at. Because I don't know what he was up to, but um, I wasn't in no mood, baby. I wasn't in no mood. I was thinking of that that line, Molly, you in danger, girl. And I'm not Molly, he Molly. Molly, you in danger, girl. You better get your butt out of here, boy. Ain't nobody got time for that mess. Ain't nobody got time for that mess. Y'all better leave people alone. Y'all better tell y'all crazy, fanatic, impulsive, stupid relatives to leave people alone when they leave that house. Y'all know y'all relatives. I better tell them to mind their own business because it's, it's crazy out here in these streets, baby. It's crazy out here in these streets. <laughs>